Here I want to present how I set up my Jetty DS16 radio to be used with the AccuRC simulator. Um, so you're gonna turn this guy on. I already have it on AccuRC. I'm gonna say yes. Okay, so that's the AccuRC there. So let's go step step by step. Uh, let's go under model. And here under basic properties, this is just gonna be uh, the swash type mechanical. And the other uh, items just leave them as no. For uh, function assignments, uh, some some of these uh, assignments that I left stock, some of them I actually changed. So here for throttle and pitch, they're both P4. Okay, so, so basically they're both of these functions are um, basically uh, affected by uh, by this uh, stick. All right. Uh, roll, uh, that's uh, going to be uh, P1, so that's uh, stock. The elevator is going to be P2, so again, you know, stock. Yaw, uh, so that's uh, P3, so that's uh, how we come stock. Now here, for channel 6, uh, that's normally a gyro, and it's usually assigned, if I remember correctly, stock to the SD uh, switch. I changed that to uh, flight mode, okay, so here, this guy right there. So instead of gyro, I change it to flight mode and I assigned it to the SC switch. I think most people like to use SA. Uh, I just prefer to use SC for uh, for my different flight modes. And as you can see here, SC. So this will be my idle up uh, three or idle up two, idle up one, or if you want to call this normal, it will be normal, idle up two and idle up three. For uh, channel 7, this is going to be my throttle hold, which I assigned to the SG uh, switch. And see when I um, uh, engage it uh, or disengage it, right? Throttle hold, I engage it and it moves. And then for rescue, that's channel 8, I, uh, I like to use the SB uh, switch back here. So, yeah. so look down here, see how I, I engage it, disengage it, all right? So that's uh, function assignments. That's uh, my setup for that. Uh, for servo assignments, the, it, it'll follow the same uh, pattern as the um, function assignment. So throttle, roll, elevator pitch. Uh, so one to eight, just the same as I had it uh, here on function assignments. Uh, now for servo setup, all of them I left uh, uh, the subprim zero, max positive 100, and max negative 100. Uh, negative 100. The same thing for max and uh, positive and negative limits at 125 and negative 125. So for all the channels, see throttle, roll, elevator, see they're all you know stay um, in the uh, stock configuration. So I didn't change anything there. Um, so now let's go back to uh, the model for heli tuning. Uh, flight modes don't need them. Okay, so uh, you just I just press no. I don't need to create any flight modes. It's not necessary for uh, throttle curves. Uh, just leave it as a uh, the uh, zero fifty uh, one hundred. You know that that'll work perfectly. Same thing with a, a pitch curve. So zero fifty one hundred. Um, now for gyro settings. Now remember this is what I. Uh, uh, set up to be my uh, flight modes, okay? So um, uh, what I did here is that uh, for what I, some people call normal, I'll call it idle up one, uh, I changed this uh, number to negative 100. You can use another number if you want, and I think uh, originally this will say negative uh, 50, I believe, but I, I just use negative 100, that's just the way I do it. And then the middle position will be zero, and the up position I put it as a hundred percent. I believe uh, the stock number is actually uh, uh, fifty, but uh, I like to use a hundred. Uh, that's just the way it is. And again, so gyro settings is channel six, which I change the name to flight modes, and I uh, I'm using the SC switch. You can use whatever switch you want. Uh, so that's it for that. Now let's go for fine tuning. Uh, for again, flight modes, we don't do anything with that. For digital trim, I just turn them off. 
See, normally it'll it'll you'll have one of those um, um, uh, you know whatever trims you use here. I, I just I just turn them off. Uh, no, I don't have any reason to to use uh, trims. Okay, you, you don't need them for fiberless units. You don't need them for the simulator. Uh, I just turn them off or deactivate them. I should say. Um, flight mode trim. Don't do anything with that. Uh, for for dual rate and exponentials. Uh, so you can do the dual rates and exponentials uh, through the uh, simulator or you can do it uh, cha or change them here in the transmitter. I prefer to just change them in the simulator and I leave these numbers uh, as a 100, 100 and, and 0 for exponential just like uh, um, Basically, I didn't change the radio at all. I just just left the stock numbers. Uh, uh, function assignments, uh, nothing to do there. Uh, gyro settings, again, that's just a different way to get to the gyro settings, which I, uh, I'm i using as channel 6 for flight modes. And, oopsie, uh, throttle limit, nothing to do there. Free mixes, nothing to do there. So let's go back one more. Advanced property, nothing to do there. Uh, timers and sensors. I mean, if you want to use a timer, that's fine. I, I don't bother using a timer for for the simulator. It's just I don't bother using it. You can you can use it. I just don't use it. Same thing for alarms with the timers or whatever. So all of these, I'm just not using them. Um, applications obviously doesn't apply. So so we're done. That this is the way I set up my radio to be used with the accuracy simulator.